Ew. Don't buy this little yeah. weird baby tulip. Well, these actually are easy, and this is the perfect person to do it. <laughs> Wham. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah. They were just throwing you a bone there. <laughs> like, oh, you've been feeling pretty bad about yourself. <laughs> I wonder where the sitting... Or this. Mm, yeah, there we go. It's a little spitting slurp. Okay. Uh -huh. I wonder where this spitting slurp is. We don't usually see the seedlings on their own. I think you'll find it selling seashells by the seashore. <laughs> she sells seashells by the seashore. Yeah, I've heard she sells more than that. Right, plant to the face. <laughs> okay, right. I do. I didn't notice that little animation before. Her glasses glint and that. So that was quite sweet. Um, no, 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 um, actually, let's no. just slap. No, 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 yes. Oh, yes. No, yeah. no, 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 yes. And I'm spent. Uh. <laughs> okay. I've got to be honest, I much prefer this game without the the, the, the music. Uh, it's just a shame that it was just way, way, way too loud. Uh, right. Let's heal up the pizza. That's a sentence I never thought I'd ever use. Arigato gozaimasu. Okay, thank you very much. Well, that's exactly what they said, but, uh, right. And... Actually, do we want you in... Yeah, I think we do, actually. Let's, uh... Let's just turret the lot of them. And wishing Beam would invest. In, I, I know that's that's actually drives me up the wall. I used to um, watch a lot of stuff on the Escapist, but stop doing it because they just showed the same pig in ads every single time. They even showed an ad for one particular game just before a review that slagged off the game. There's a lot oh, of thought sucks. went in there, didn't it? Yeah, because I used to watch Jim Sterling, but I would watch. Um, on the PlayStation, yeah. So you wouldn't really get a lot of ads. You, occasionally, you'd get one. Yeah, uh, I, I quite like uh, a lot of Jim Sterling stuff. To be honest with you, he's uh, got a good head on his shoulders. Um, I got a little bit bored with the fact he was just doing nothing but Avengers stuff. Yeah, for a while. It's just his his skill at um, particularly market and industry yeah. analysis for. Uh, for the game industry period is incredible. Um, what was it for Smash Brothers? He he uh, he thought like he predicted that Bug Princess was going to be added to the game, and it was like, no, Bug Princess isn't going to be added to the game. And then it was, and he just predicted it, and it's yeah, remarkable. Yeah, he's um. He's done a lot of good st good stuff. He has, I think. Uh, yeah, he's uh, very good, very well reasoned. Um, doesn't shout too much, uh, but uh, but just gets his point across well, and I th I think that is good. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, don't don't start me about YouTube adverts. Some of them have really started to annoy me. You know, I've I've on occasion watched a YouTube advert where the advert and the start of it uh, watched a YouTube episode where an advert and start in front of it was longer than the actual video. Mm -hmm. And you know, for people like us that uh, want to make money out of doing YouTube, that's really, really frustrating because nobody is going to ever watch that advert. Yeah. Yeah. Victory! Oh, that pizza's almost leveled up by the looks of it. As has okay, Jennifer. Yeah. It's frustrating. Uh, I can't remember who someone was mentioning Hulu ads. It was really obnoxious because they do play a lot of the same ads, which would be fine because you can just click off and do whatever you want on uh, on your phone or on another web page. But the issue is that I, I think I get mostly irritated because they ask you if an What's ad that? is they'll ask if a re, an ad is relevant to me, and I'll say no, and then they play it again anyway, and I just feel like 
That's really obnoxious. Yeah, very, 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 very frustrating. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm also, I, as somebody who worked professionally in the advertising industry, yes, I do apologise. Oh, hello, uh, otherwise, <laughs> other world princess. I didn't see you. Come on, and, and Chris. I don't think I said hello. Yeah, as somebody who used to work in the advertising industry, I find that sort of uh, sloppy inventory placement is really really bad it's bad for you as the person watching it's also bad for the person who's paid to have the advert placed mm-hmm. because you've lost interest yeah uh, definitely. yeah so you've you've lost interest so the person who placed spent money placing that ad it's not gonna it's not gonna get any money out of you so why bother doing it which is garbage it's, yeah it's pretty crappy all around um, oh, Chris Viking, yeah, I haven't, I haven't heard that podcast, but Total Biscuit, Sterling, and Matt Lee sounds amazing. Matt Lee's Simon mm-hmm. knows a lot about Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> he also does stuff with Shut Up and Sit Down, which is one of my favorite board game shows. Uh, so, sorry, can I, can I just stop you there a second? Knows about uh, what? Dark Souls. Dark d- Dark Souls. <laughs> What's that? Dark Souls, it's this game that you're going to play with me because Wendy has asked, and we love Wendy so much. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. (laughs) Oh, Too Many Fandoms is trying to get me to sing You Remind Me of the Babe. (laughs) What babe? The babe with the power. The the, the power to do what? (laughs) Hoodoo. (laughs) Hoodoo? You do. Do what? Remind me of the babe. Come on, sing it. Sing it. Give me, sing it. Get me, get me a copyright strike. Go on. <laughs> I won't do that to you. I've never actually gotten a strike with that. No, it's, yeah, it's... Dark Souls is my plug. Sounds guilty. Oh, I, I, twenty, twenty six, twenty. I think it's twenty six. I must go watch that. It's on a cinema nearby. I. I missed a chance to watch it when it first came out, and yeah, I well, watch it. Yeah. yeah, well, I'll forget. That's the problem. Yeah. Night, Fuji. Take care, Miss Fujimoto. <laughs> Did it? I'm Did sorry. Eat. I can't help it. I can't help it. I won't. I won't do that. Um, but you can't see me. I'm dancing right now. <laughs> Uh, well, okay, there we go. So that's uh, another reason, guys, to make sure that she gets the uh, the, the webcam set up. A boogieing April. Oh, my yeah. baby said. <laughs> Sorry. Kind of. You're not really. Don't worry about it, though. Dance, magic, dance, magic, dance, magic, dance, magic. Put that magic spell on me. I've never gotten a strike from it, but if you want, you can auto tune my voice. That would be <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that would that would be that would that would be fun to do. I think I've seen a dead end. Yeah, I still need to go that way, so we're doubling back. Womp womp womp. Yes. Uh, the rocks look like malt balls that are stuck together, and it's making me hungry. <laughs> oh dear, the plants—they're closing in. Yes, when I put in my webcam, you will see me dancing because I dance and make weird faces and gestures all the time. And I've tried during my last few streams to be cognizant of it so that I don't... Eventually, when I do stream with face cam, I don't, like, you know, keep picking my nose or doing something really weird that I wouldn't necessarily normally do, but people occasionally do when no one's watching. You do understand uh, that they really, really want you to do that, don't you? They really do. And they want to see my very messy bedroom because i like uh i have all these i i drink mexican coke to keep my blood sugar up and i just have tons of bottles cuz they're these heavy glass bottles tons of them and they're all rinsed they're just here because i like them i don't well, know that's a good enough reason <laughs> yeah right now uh, yeah! excellent right <laughs> This thing's really annoying because it steps back and spawns stuff, and you can't hit attack things in the back rank. Uh, mm. Even with area effects, you can only attack the front rank. So now, let's do this. Um, right, a slap from you, I think. 
Yeah, it's hard. that's the right idea. My uh, my ex husband was like, "Why don't you just put a curtain behind you?" And I was like, "Why don't you hang that curtain for me?" Because <laughs> I don't want to do it. <laughs> Actually, I'm too short. I would probably need help. Um, let's try. I haven't tr uh, tried the Big Bang. This is going to wipe out all of our spell points, but. Oh emails, yes! Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, it didn't kill, but that was brilliant. <laughs> Your desk is covered in uh, computer parts. No, but that's kind of like that's kind of like when they go to an elephant graveyard yeah. in a movie. There's something sad and beautiful about it, and then yeah. you win an Oscar. Yeah. So you should do that. For what it's worth, my desk is covered in computer parts. However, they're all wild together, and it actually makes a computer. It's 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 basically <laughs> like it, the the computer has just been eviscerated and it spilled its guts all over the desk, but it's all <laughs> wired together and it's all working, and one day, I will put it back together again and then it one will break. Day, one day it will rise up and murder you in your sleep and then oh, take over the world. It's tried doing that already, and I should imagine Windows Ten is going to animate it and uh, get it to take over the world <laughs> anyway. Uh, Cherry vanilla Dr. Pepper. I can't have Dr. Pepper anymore because it has prunes in it, but Dr. Pepper makes an amazing cake. I think I mentioned this during Alice, but really, it makes an amazing cake. Simon I, does need an Oscar. I I would, I would, I, I actually really, really want to try Dr. Pepper cake. That just sounds so, so good. Well, I know eventually you'll visit the States. I'll make it for you. Okay, I'm looking forward to that. I'm really looking it's, forward to that. It's essentially molten soda poured into a mixture of flour and marshmallows. Mm -hmm. And then you just let it do its thing and bake it. And oh my god, is it delicious. And I made a Sprite cake the same way once, and I made a very light lemon and lime whipped topping for it. And it was so good. Ladies and gentlemen, food porn. Mm. I should play them that thing you sent me the day I was really depressed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, can I do that? <laughs> oh, what the hell, go for it. Let me find it. Okay, so the story behind this is one day I was really, really depressed. And I, uh... Um... And I was like, Simon, what did you eat for lunch today? Because I love food. And he told me, and, um, hang on, I'm trying to find it. Simon, there we go. And he told me, and then I was like, could you, like, send me a food porn version of that? <laughs> <laughs> so, hang on, I'm scrolling down, I'll find it. Now I get all these things, it's like, Simon uploaded a video, Simon said something on Twitter. I want that Simon cake now. Five. Melody, I agree yeah. with you totally. I want that cake. Which cake? Uh, the, the Dr. Pepper one. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. Make that with a nice chocolate frosting. Oh, my God. Damn it, where is it? I will find you. I will find you and play you. Yeah, I'm still in May. Keep scrolling. That's 67. 60. Simon. I'm paying attention while you're fighting. <laughs> Wait, okay. So it's very quiet. I'm going to put it right up to my microphone. Hopefully it's not... Uh... Which speaker does it come out of? Hang on. Yeah, it comes on the back. Okay. All right, here we go. Understand this. I'm only doing this because the best things in life are oral. <laughs> Yesterday was more fun. I made chicken and mushroom risotto, but I decided to use Japanese flavor, and so it was made with soy, mirin, ginger, and dashi stock. Broke a couple of eggs into it right at the end of the cooking, and it turned out very rich and creamy. I quite enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I'm sorry, Kendall. Yeah, I was so I was like so sad. I'm in tears of excitement. Tell me about your food. <laughs> 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 uh, if anyone knows where your distant lily lives, could you call her uh, an ambulance, please? Yes, don't choke. Don't choke. Throw yourself over a chair. Uh, Actually, you gotta put your fists, to both fists, under your diaphragm and then fall on a chair. That's how you do a self high look. Or anything, like a counter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so hungry. Damn it. I already ate. Well, the window was open for all that sexy talk. Oh. Well, it's just a shame that it was in such poor quality. <laughs> <laughs> when uh, when Laura, Simon, and I get together, we're always like, oh yeah, I had this for dinner, and I had this for dinner, and then we all want what each other had for dinner. Except for Laura, because Simon and I love peanut butter, and if we had anything with peanut butter, she hates it. She also hates offal. Any kind of offal. Yeah, she thinks it's awful. Sorry. Yeah, she thinks offal is awful. <laughs> You're the first person ever to make that joke. <laughs> <laughs> I hate, I've never claimed to be original, just persistent. Yes, which is really what it comes down to. Inside the hole... We find... Dirt of another colour. <laughs> Yay! All right, let's start looking at these holes. Look in uh, the holes. Worm Actually, like um, other world. A lot of people. Oh, I'm sorry, Sam. Go, okay. go ahead. Inside the hole, we find a group of smaller holes, all huddling together for warmth. Inside the hole, we find a twisted mass of roots that vaguely resembles a fish. Fish. Inside the hole, we find. An elementary physics textbook. <laughs> <laughs> Is this useful? <laughs> no, it's out of date when it was printed. What's wrong with it? I, I think... Seriously? I think Mr. Steiner's going to be using it next month. It still says electron electrons are little planets orbiting the nucleus. I ain't. <laughs> no, they're probability clouds, of course. Yes, thank you for that. That's really advanced the plot. See, um, Otherworld, uh, Otherworld Princess, a lot of people outside of the United States hate peanut butter, and a lot of people in the United States are allergic to peanut butter. And then you have people who hate it. But I love peanut butter. Hardcore. <laughs> do and Simon and Laura's husband do, do too. Do so. do yeah. I still haven't managed to make that peanut butter ice cream. I've made the stuff, I've brought the stuff to make ice cream three times. And mm. every time I've done it, I've realized I've just eaten the last of the peanut butter. So I've put another flavoring in it. It's just not fair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is a little bit time consuming. We need to defend. Mm -hmm. but on the bright side, that does get us uh, our stats back up because this is the only person that can do this. So, uh, better slingshot. Yeah, you know what? That is a benefit, Otherworld. You know, single behavior, you can do whatever you want. I can do weird stuff all the time. I don't care. <laughs> Almond butter is very good. I can do so as well, and I really, really enjoy it. But it's worth pointing out that I was pretty much like that when I was married as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me too. Ex explains a lot, really, I think. Um, <laughs> all right, we're going to need Heather at the front, so we'll just keep her slapping. Keep on slapping. <laughs> Slapper. Yeah, You're going to be a slapper. Uh, and Pizza's doing right stats wise. So we'll keep her at the front, I think. Uh, I want to swap out Miss. No, actually, I don't because Missy's got a good stat. No, I do. I want to swap her out. Swap her out for Nicole. And Nicole can just chuck some better stuff at them. But I, I want Nicole to use her, her ending uh, attack to get some bonus experience. So I think what we'll actually do is we'll, we'll, we'll just defend with her for a little while until she gets up to about 20 spell points. And then she can finish this thing off. Defend. Yep. Finding a partner who can handle your weirdness is the most important part. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah, Manisha, we're super weird in this house. Even Well, my ex and I used to play these super fun little games. We'd have these really 
intensive conversations between our cat and our dog. But nobody here does that with me anymore. So I have to do it by myself. Actually, wait, no, Scott started doing it. But he can't do Sid's voice properly. He doesn't do a good Russian dialect. I, um, my ex-wife came down. I love that attack. How do you, oh, <laughs> uh, I, my ex-wife came down one day uh, downstairs one weekend morning. I think it was a Sunday morning, and um, she she walked in on me, and I didn't hear her come in. So it wasn't because I had an audience. I just, I was sitting there on the, the sofa. The cat was sat there on the sofa, and I looked at the cat. The cat looked at me and I went ruff, <laughs> and the cat just gave me this disgusted look, and I went ruff, <laughs> bark, <laughs> ruff. <laughs> And so from behind me, I, I hear you. So what the smeg are you doing? And I said, well, I'm trying to teach you a foreign language. <laughs> oh my God, Simon. <laughs>